Hello everyone, welcome to our 63rd part of 100 Ways to Motivate Yourself. I'm Walt and here we are with part 63 which is all about rituals. And so uh, you might be wondering, rituals, what are you talking about? Are we, you know, now converting into a cult or a religion or anything? No, 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 no. This is about rituals that are going to affirm stuff, okay? So first off, first off, ritualistic behavior is something that a lot of religions use, and this can be used to indoctrinate people, to convince people, to get people's faith to be higher in the church or the gods or religion or whatever it is that it's going for. And so this kind of thing that's been, effect that's been effective for indoctrination, for example, can also be very effective in training our minds to be better. If we can start doing a practicing ritual that we think will, you know, hammer on a belief because it can really increase our strength there. Now the ritual he's really talking about here is not necessarily working on that, but working on going and taking when we have some kind of issue, we can jump start our brain in order to like performing a little ritual can get us into a motivational zone so we can solve problems. A lot of times people start having problems, they start, you know, feeling a little bit pessimistic and then they do a little bit less and then they have more problems, do a little less, more problems, and then they kind of get a snowball that just, you know, absolutely destroys their life. And so he's saying that instead of just kind of going on this passivity practice of getting more problems and then backing off more, instead what we should do is to move forward and find a way to jumpstart ourselves when the snowball's small so we can rush it and just like slice right through it, pull out a machete and just yeah kind of thing. And I think that's the main part about this rituals thing is getting some practice that's going to jumpstart it. And he says one of his favorite things is to go for a walk, that he can go for a walk and a nice long walk like uh, Charles Dickens did, for example. And you can just think over this topic, think it over, think it over, think it over. And by the time you get back, you can often have a solution to what was once a life, you know, altering kind of huge problem. And so I think this one is very huge. I personally prefer to do things like go for a walk and you can talk to yourself. I prefer to do this out loud because I just find that when I talk to myself out loud, my fearful emotions are not really in play. I find that the loving emotions are very forward in the conversation and they really solve the problems versus if I just leave it to like my internal dialogue, I find that there can be a lot more fearful emotions just back there that don't really show up when I talk about it out loud. But Maybe that's just me. So really create a ritual that's going to jumpstart you, that's going to motivate you. I don't know if it's watching a certain TV show, watching a certain movie, going for a walk, going for a run, doing some little thing, meditating, that could really just jumpstart your brain and say, yeah, I'm motivated, I can see it. You can even create a little video for yourself to remind you of, here's my purpose, here's what I'm trying to do. Because sometimes we're gonna forget that, we're gonna lose some of our motivation, but if we can create a ritual that's going to jumpstart us into being motivated, then man, there is nothing that can beat us. Anyway, that's about it for our 63rd part. I will see you guys next time with part 64, so stay tuned. I'll see you then.